everyone, welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland, it's Fiona here. I've just finished filming the haul from all the shopping that we got yesterday for the girls going back to school and I was going to tag it on to the end of the Come Shopping With Us Day in the Life video that we did, however it was too long so I thought I would do that as a separate video on its own. So this video is basically just going to show you what we got the girls for going back to school. Um, we went to quiz shoe zone, a pound shop, the works, JD, Se JD seasonings, <laughs> I'm food addicted, JD sports, new look, Wilco and Primark and Asda. So you will see stuff from all of those shops in this haul. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, hit the little thumbs up button and we will see you later. So here is the haul of what we got yesterday. Good morning everyone, it's now Monday the 5th of August and I thought I would show you what we got yesterday just quickly um, in case you're interested after coming shopping with us you want to see what we bought and I apologise if the dogs start going nuts in the background Jack and Brooke have just left the house so they're wondering where they are Right, let's get on with it So the first shop we went to was Quiz I love this shop, Abby likes that shop as well, especially for school stuff. So she got this skirt. It's just got the sort of panel detail on it and a zip at the back. It's nice on, a bit short for my taste, but teenagers. And that was, hopefully I get the receipts. Um, twelve ninety nine for that, and she also got another black skirt, just plain. It's going to need an iron. I don't do iron, and hopefully by the time it's been hanging up, it won't need iron. Another plain skirt that was also twelve ninety nine. Again, quite expensive for me, but I'm a bargain hunter. And I'm not overly happy with this purchase. She got a plain white shirt, nothing fancy about it, $14.99, okay? Now she got that out of quiz. She tried it on with the skirt and she thought it looked great, so she wanted it. Even although, wait for it, that was the only shirt that she picked up in town, so when we went to Asda we had to get her more shirts. So she got these, okay, it's a, a bit of a mess now, but it's basically five short sleeved white shirts, exactly the same as that, £15 for five, £15 for one, yeah, however, I really, it was the first shop we'd been into and I really didn't want to fall out at that stage, so I just went with it. So yes, she has now got six shirts, which is good because I tend to only do one white wash a week because we don't have a lot of whites. Um, so I like her and Brooke to have a shirt for every single day so then I can wash them at the weekend and they've got them ready for the next week. So, but I just, is that not ridiculous? Five for 15 pounds or one for 15 pounds, shocking. Now, while Abby and I were in quiz, game was right across from the shop, so I let Brooke go in there and have a wee look, because Brooke's not really into clothes shopping. She tells me that fashion doesn't matter, it's just clothes. So, which is fair enough, that's the way I always felt. Whereas Abby's exactly the opposite, fashion's everything. Whether or not it'll change for Brooke when she becomes a teenager, I don't know, but I can't see it, to be honest. So, she was in game anyway while we were in quiz, and I was able to keep an eye on her, so I was quite happy. And... When I went in to get her, she had spotted this. FIFA 18 for the Nintendo Switch. Now, she got her Nintendo Switch at Christmas and she's not got an awful lot of games for it, but she does enjoy playing it. So, she had £15 left of her holiday spending money. So, I said that she could use that to get it if she wanted. It was a pre-owned game. FIFA 18, I'm not sure how good she'll be at it, but I know that Abby enjoys it and it's something that they can play together. So I let her get that. And the good thing was, in game, 
she said to me, do you want to pay an extra 50 pence and get the game completely insured for a year so that any kind of damage, accidental or otherwise, you get a new game? And I was like, for 50p? Yes, because I know what Brooke's like. She'll drop it or she'll leave it lying and the dogs will stand on it or eat it or something. So I thought that was quite a good deal, 50p, and it covers the game for the whole year. They just replace it. Excellent. So that was one of Brooke's purchases. Then we went to Shoe Zone. My mum, when she's on her own with the girl, she t or with Brooke now, Abby wouldn't have shoes out of Clark's now, but when she used to be on the room with the girl, she would take them to Clark's for their school shoes. And yes, I agree that they're better quality, but I don't agree at paying three times the price for shoes that you would get somewhere else a lot cheaper. I just think it's crazy because she's only going to be wearing these shoes for a couple of months and then it's going to be boots time and the rate Brooke's feet are growing by the time it comes to sort of spring, summer again and she's ready for shoes, they won't fit her anymore. So I don't see the point in paying all that money for Clark's shoes if she's only going to get a couple of months wear out of them. So we went to Shoe Zone and this is what she got. I think I showed you some clips of her in Shoe Zone trying them on. Um, but I actually really like them as well. They are nice. So that's them. Oh, that's them. So it's just a plain black shoe with a, that's actual Diamantes that's on there, 3D uh, with, with the bow and a strap, which is good for Brooke. And look, they've even got a wee heel. She's well chuffed that she's getting allowed to wear a wee heel. So yeah, that was her shoes and they were 12 99 and if I got them out of Clark's, it would have been about £45 probably. So, yeah, I quite like them. So that they are for Brooke. They are a size 1, and she said that they are a little bit tight, but to be honest, I'm not caring, because by the time they're too wee for her, it'll be time to get boots anyway. So that's Brooke's school shoes sorted. When we came out of shoe zone, we were going round to the pound shop, and I noticed that right next door to the pound shop, there was a shop called... One below. Now, I don't know if any of you have ever seen this shop, but it's the first time I'd seen it. And it's basically rivaling the pound shop. And everything is a pound or under in it. So it's not like how the pound shop now, some things are 50 pence, some things are two pounds, some things are three pounds, then you've got clothes that are five pounds. This was, everything was a pound or below. So I decided to go in there instead of the pound shop just to see what it was like. And to be honest, it was just a pound shop. It was pretty much the same things that you would find in the pound shop. So I will show you what we got. Now, some of the things that are in here we also got from the works. And um, we went into the pound shop first to see if we could get like all their stationery and things like that. Anything we couldn't get in the pound shop, we went to the works to try and get. Ow, I just hurt my finger. So we got just a set of 10 pencils with a sharpener. We got that for each of the girls. They're always losing their pencils and their sharpeners. I'm sure if you've got kids, they'll be exactly the same. So we got them one each. And what I'm going to do with Brooke is I'm going to let her take two pencils and I'm going to keep the rest safe so that when she loses them, I can give her more. But 10 pencils with a sharpener for a pound, I think is a pretty good deal. We also, hello Rana. Big beer. Hello. Sorry about that. Rana wanted to say hello. Hello, Abby. Hello. Here's Abby coming to say hello. I'm getting out of the bag. Should be the last one. OMG. <laughs> Can I tell them? Yeah. <laughs> Jack has now said to Abby that her pocket money is going to go up now. However, the condition is that she has her room tidy every single day. When he goes to his bed, he's going to check in and if her room's not tidy, she gets a strike on the calendar and the amount of strikes on the calendar at the end of the month determines how much money she actually gets. So he was going the other day and it looked tidy, but he just happened to look in her wardrobe and was not impressed with what he saw. So she was told to get her wardrobe cleared out and I don't think we've done a clear out of your clothes since we moved here. No. Nope. So I said to her, look, take bags in, anything that you're not going to wear again, just shove in the bag. So that's her now on her third bag full. And that's how many, how long? 
that's been well we've been here what a year past no, it. I'm talking about oh and how long that's only taken you half an hour so far maybe so she is really being ruthless which is good that's my girl except when she's like mom have you seen my such and such top and i'm like no you probably threw it out without realising. God, I found it right there. <laughs> <laughs> are you no? Are you finding a lot of clothes that you forgot you had? Yeah. Yeah. I thought that would be the case. She's like, I'll just throw them all out and get a new wardrobe on my birthday, and I'm like, have a look at things because I'm pretty sure there's stuff there that will still fit you that you've maybe worn once and then just screwed up and thrown in the wardrobe. And yeah, that was the case. <laughs> Keep up the good work, Abby. Oh. Now the puppies are playing. Here we go. I'll try to get on with this. Right. In that one below, Brooke got this, which is gorgeous. It's Believe Sparkle Magic, a notepad with a pen. This was a pound. And this is good because the homework at Brooke's school is a bit strange. They basically, they get a talk to do every single week. It's a different topic every week. And that's their homework. So she uses a notepad to write down what she's going to talk about in her talk. She doesn't read it from the notebook, but she writes it down and then learns it and then reads it to the class. So that's what she needed the notebook for. She also got new coloured pencils. These were a pound and there's only eight, but they've got the soft grip on them. And I thought they don't need millions of pencils that are like three of the same colour or very very slightly different shades so we just got the eight and that'll keep our pencil case nice and tidy hopefully but eight colored pencils for a pound yeah there were packs of like 40 for a pound but they were the tiny wee ones and they would probably break so these look decent quality so we got our base they'll go in our pencil case anybody else the same see when i was young and i was getting ready to go back to school my favorite bit was getting the stationery i love getting a new pencil case and all the pencils and the rubbers and the rulers and then putting them all in my nice pencil case and putting that in my nice school bag oh i loved it oh what i will do at the end i'll try to remember i'll show you the school bag that my mum got through also in one below abby got some flying saucers she was going to eat them at the time, but then we ended up going to Nando's and putting the bags that we already had in the car, so she didn't get around to it. I'm sure it won't take her long. I still love these. We got juice out of there as well. The Pepsi Max that I showed you was out of there, and Abby had got a Lucasade, and Brooke had got a Ribena that she managed to drop and break. But I told her just to keep it. When we got to the cash desk, the girl was like, oh, that lid's broken. I'm like, it was her that broke it. Just give her it. <laughs> Oh, there's the other pack of pencils. That will be Abby's ones. I'll put them in Abby's pile. Abby, she said, I'm needing highlighters. I went, right, okay. So she picked up a pack. I went, oh, look at these. So she had to get these instead. They're scented ones. <laughs> Mini highlighters and they're scented in raspberry, orange, banana, melon, blueberry and grape. So, yeah, she might be a teenager, but she still likes a bit of fun. Rick was also hungry when Abby got the flying saucers, so she got a uh, nutty dairy milk. However, like I said, the bags ended up in the car, so she's not eating them. She'll have forgotten about it, so I'll hide it, and then when she's done something good, I'll give her it. <laughs> Or I could just give it to Abby. No, I would not. Forgot about your flying saucers. And the last thing that we got in the one below was Abby got 10 gel pens. So it's just a mixture of black, blue and red gel pens for her for school. They were a pound. So all together in the pound shop we spent... Oh, that's right. It was weird when it came to it. It was... 666. I was like, oh, the sign of the devil, Brooke, they must have known you were coming. <laughs> so it was £6.66 because the juice was 59 pence and 49 pence and the flying saucers were 89 pence. The other things, um, the pencils and notepads and things, they were all a pound. So yeah, £6.66 we spent in there. Then we went across to the works and Brooke got... Uh, 
a nice sparkly glittery pencil case she's not into fashion but she loves glittery things and she loves things with a texture like with a feeling and um, so she likes these you know the sort of reversible sequins if you like that was three pound fifty there were cheaper ones but she did like it so i thought i would let her get it and it's not too big so it's going to keep what she needs in it and not get full, filled with junk hopefully And they got a pack of two rubbers for a pound in the works and that's a nice soft rubbers, I like those. Brick was going to get those ones and then she spotted these and decided she wanted the colourful ones instead of the white ones. So they were also a pound for the two soft rubbers. And then Abby got the math set with the ruler and the set squares and things that she needs for maths. She maybe doesn't actually need them, she just probably wanted them. <laughs> Oops, that just fell down the back of the drawers. So in total in the works we spent £6.50. After that we went to JD Sport because Abby loves that shop. I personally don't agree with names and labels and things, but I've always been like that. When I was Abby's age, I would much rather get three items of clothing for the price of what you would pay for one label. And that's just always been me. However, Abby likes her label, she likes her brands, and I've always told her that I'm happy for other people to buy them or for her to use her own money to buy them, but I'm not buying them. However, I did relent this time when it came to getting her school bag because she hadn't seen anything that she liked at all. So we went into JD Sport and she picked up this Nike Air Max bag and it's a good size. We filled it with stuff to save having buying carrier bags and it's dirty already because when we pulled up to the house the dogs got excited and jumped in the car. Um, but yeah, so she got that. That was £30. A lot of money for a school bag but she does tend to just have one school bag a year so that was fair enough and then she started looking at shoes in there and they were like 60 pounds and even she said to me no i'm not paying that for school shoes and um, she was looking at the shorts but they didn't have any um prices on them so i said look forget it you can get your pe stuff out of premark or you can buy it yourself so she agreed to get that out of premark so that's all we got in jd sports and I think we went to Primark after that, so I'll show you what we got. In fact, we went to Primark and Wilco after that, so I'll just show you what we got in those shops. I'll do a lucky dip and just pull things out. We got a pack of folders. There's... How many is in here? There's four. Four of the folders with the buttons on it in here. Now, these are good just for keeping things neat in their bag, especially Brooke, because she gets letters home from school and just shoves them in the bag and either I don't see them or they're all crinkled and just such a mess. Um, so we'll give two to Brooke and two to Abby. And this is good for Abby, uh, Brooke keeping her homework stuff in as well. I think they were a pound, if I didn't already see that. Also in Wilco, Abby found her pencil case. She got an avocado one. Um, and the reason that she wanted that was Kevin Bridges does a joke about avocado and she thinks it's hilarious. So anytime somebody asks her why she's got an avocado pencil case, she's going to say it's avocado and quote Kevin Bridges. Okay. Um, that was £3, £3.50 I think. So it was about the same price as Brooks. That's Abby's one. That was Wilco. I think we're on to pre-mark now. So... The shoes that she was looking at in JD Sport for about £60 were quite similar to the ones that she ended up getting in Primark for £8. Yes, £8. Huge difference. I don't mind paying £8 for school shoes because when they get wrecked, I'll take her to Primark and get her a new pair. Um, so they're just black sort of trainer-like shoes. So they're a cross between trainers and shoes, which is a good compromise for school, I think. Um, so that's her school shoes. I got her a pack of shoe liners for when she's doing PE. She wears um, skirts to school most days, so she wears tights, but obviously she can't wear them at PE. So I just got her some shoe liners. It was a pack of five, oh no, a pack of seven for two pound. Again, she will lose them. They will get lost in the pit that is her room, 
but for two pound it's not a big deal sticking with PE she's got quite a few sort of sports bra type things and t-shirts so she really just needed one top and she got this one that actually matches the leggings that she was wearing yesterday because they're pre-marked as well. So that is meant to go with those leggings. So she will wear this probably with those leggings. But they can mix and match. It's not a big deal. This was only £6 for a nice sportswear top. So she got that. She also got leggings for PE. And they're just black leggings but they've got... Wait, I'll see if I can show you on camera. They've got sort of hole details at the bottom of the legs and it's nice it just gives them that little bit something different and these were six pounds as well so that's her sorted for her PE because she does PE outside all year now it's football that she's chosen to do at PE this year so she'll be outside every every lesson so she wanted leggings rather than shorts hello I'm talking about your football, yes. Then, oh, she got another school skirt. And I have to say, I do like this one. It's a denim one. It's a black denim skirt. Again, it is quite short, but it's, it's lovely. I do really like it. And it's got the pockets on the back. And it's high-waisted. And it was £8. So, again, cheaper than the ones out of quiz. But never mind. The other things that she got in pre-mark, they've got this fashion now that instead of wearing a jumper over their shirt, they wear like wee sort of vest top type things over their shirt, which is a bit strange, but it is quite nice actually, I do quite like it. So, she got that, which to me is meant to go under something or on its own, not over something, but hey ho, whatever they want, that was... Four pounds. That was down to four pounds from eight ninety nine. So that was a definite bargain. That was actually from New Look, not from Primark. Sorry. Um, so yeah, we went to New Look in between JD Sports and Primark and Milko. We also went into the Celtic shop as well, which you'll have seen. That was and Claire's, which was quite funny, but we didn't buy anything from there. So that was New Look. Going back to Primark. She got this lovely black jumper and you can see it, it's sort of rib detail, very soft material and it's got quite a high neck so that's going to be good for in the winter. She likes short sleeve shirts rather than long sleeve so when it's a bit chillier she'll have this to wear over it as well. And that was only £6 for that jumper and it's lovely on. Back to new look again. <laughs> This is another top for over her shirts and again it's like a vest top and it's got the button detail down the front and a slight, wait now, it's got a slight frill at the bottom, there we go you can see it better there and the buttons, the buttons are real but she'll have a, a shirt on under it anyway and that was £8, seven ninety nine from New Look. And again, that was lovely on. It was very nice. And New Look is where we got our other skirt as well. So this is the skirt that she got from New Look. She actually got it about two sizes too small because the one that was the correct size for her was too long. It's way too long, Mum. I can't have that. So she went for one about two sizes smaller and it's shorter. And that was only £6. So I didn't mind that. So quiz was definitely the most expensive for Abby's clothes, um, but we do like the stuff out there, so I didn't mind. So that's everything out of the school bag. So after we had been to the shopping centre, we went to Asda on the way home for our shopping, and I knew there was still a couple of bits we had to get, and I thought we'd just get them in Asda. So this is what we got. I showed you Abby's shirts that we got. Brooke got this packed lunchbox. 
which is purple with the pink flamingos on it, which is quite appropriate since we were at Flamingo Land and didn't actually see any flamingos. And it comes with its own bottle. It's just a twisty top. This was £9 for the two. And she wanted one that she could carry because her school bag's slightly smaller this year, so there won't really be any room inside it for her um, packed lunch. So she wanted one that she could actually carry. And yeah, hopefully it'll be decent quality and last a decent amount of time. So the bottle is BPA free, freezer safe, it can go on the top rack of the dishwasher and it's food safe. And the actual packed lunch box is just white with a damp cloth, you can't wash it any other way. Which is never really great for Brooke because she does tend to leave things like a rubbish. The school doesn't let them put the rubbish in the bin. They have to bring the rubbish home so that we can see whether they've eaten or not. But to me that just makes a mess. Um, but that's what it looks like inside. It's got a little section for her name that you can't see because of the light. And it's just insulated so it should keep things nice and cold. Because she likes to take her grapes and sometimes yoghurt as well as a sandwich. So that was that. £9 from Asda. Ran a line on the bag. Abby needed tights to go with her skirt, so she just got the 60 denier. She likes them quite thin, she doesn't like them too thick, and um, they were £4 for three pairs. She got two packs of these because 9 out of 10 times when she comes in from school, the dogs jump on her and rip them. So, yep, two packs of 60 denier opaque tights. Brooke also got another water bottle, she just got a plain purple one, and it's one of the flip tops because she keeps her packed lunch bottle with her packed lunch but they're allowed to drink water in the class so she needs another one for her school bag so that was two pound just for a plain bottle Brooke was needing new shorts for PE and they didn't have any but I spotted this which I thought were really really cool and it's a skirt so it's basically it looks like a skirt but if they fall over, nobody's going to see their pants because it's actually, I can't see that. It's actually shorts. So it's a skirt over shorts. Skort. Self-explanatory, really. That was £5 for that. And it feels like really good material. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. And that will be going in her new gin bag, which is Quidditch Hogwarts. And this goes with her school bag because it's a Harry Potter school bag that I'll show you shortly. And that was £4. And the reason that I got that is they like them to keep their gym stuff at school so they don't forget it. So her gym shoes that my mum's already got her and her skirt and a wee pair of socks in case she's wearing tights will be in there and be left at the school and that was four pounds she had the mermaid one last year but we're going for harry potter this year she's still reading her harry potter book series that she got for christmas she got the full box series of books and this is her fourth time now that she's reading it she does love reading and she loves harry potter we're almost there I also got Brooke, I wanted to get Brooke the ankle socks in grey, but they only had them in ridiculously big sizes. It was size, was it four and a half to, to six or something? And I thought, who in primary school is going to have that size feet? There may be a few, but my goodness, there was a lot of that size and none of the other sizes. So I ended up getting her the knee highs. I didn't particularly want to get these because she goes out with them pulled up and then comes in with them round her ankles and just looks like a, a wee orphan, as always. So that was five pairs for £3. And it's grey socks. They've got a slight pattern on them. Love harps. Um, I tried to get her tights, but they only had a big pack of five tights for £10, I think, or £15. But they were in size 9 to 10 or 11 to 12 and the 9 to 10 I think are just getting a wee bit on the neat side for her and I think 11 to 12 would just keep falling down so I didn't get them, that's something that I will still need to get her but we've got a few weeks before um, she's really going to be needing tights, the socks will do her until then and the only last thing that we got 
Abby needed a deodorant, so she got a Dove Go Fresh Apple Moisturising Cream, Apple and White Tea Scent. So that was that. I can't remember how much that was. One eighty, I think. One pound eighty, something like that. I don't know. So that was what we got at our shopping yesterday. Plus we got the Nando's, which was delish. We got the little coconut coffee from Waitrose and. When the girls went into TK Maxx to get my salted caramel skinny syrup, I didn't notice they'd accidentally picked up the salted caramel mocha, which, mm, it's okay. I tasted it last night in my iced coffee and it was okay, but it was a bit alcoholy. You know, it tasted a wee bit liquidy. So I will use it, but it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. But that was everything that we got. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you did enjoy it, please hit that wee thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already and leave comments below because I love replying to you. And I'll see you in our next one. Bye! I forgot to show you our school bag, so here it is. It's Gryffindor and it's from the Harry Potter shop in St Andrews. My mum got it.